In this lesson, we'll be talking about coterminal angles. We'll be looking at questions that involve degrees, but we'll also do radians. So let me explain this very easy concept. Let's say you have your quadrant diagram, okay? And you, let's say, for example, um, if we're working in degrees, we know that this is 0, 90, 180, uh, 270, and 360. Now let's say we have an angle that is over here, okay? So if I draw this line, remember this line is called the terminal side. Remember that? Terminal. Now, let's say this angle, I don't know, 200 degrees, right? Because if that's 180, then 200 makes sense. Now, what would happen if I took this point over here and I just said plus 360? Where would I end up? Well, if you plus 360, it would go all the way around and it would end up at exactly the same place. The angle would then be 560 degrees because you've added 360, but you would still have the exact same terminal side. So the word co-terminal just means they share the same terminal side. So we could say that two, if we had 200, then 560 is a co-terminal angle. We could also subtract 360 degrees. So let's say we'd subtract, we go all the way back around then you would end up at exactly the same place. Your angle would be negative 160 because 200 take away 360 is negative 160. So that's another coterminal angle. Okay, now I've only shown you when we go around once or backwards once, but you can do it as many times as you would like to. So let's say you have 200 and then you go around once. So that would be 560. You could go again. You could add another 360. So that would be 560 add another 360, which would be 920. That is also a coterminal angle. You could go positive as many times, you could go around clockwise, anti-clockwise, as long as you eat, you, each time you add 360. So when you are working in degrees, then you can just add or subtract as many 360s as you want. So what would N be? N would just be integer numbers, okay? Positive minus one, uh, positive or minus two, positive or minus three. So you could add 365 times, you could add it three times, you could add it once, you could take away once. It doesn't matter as long as you use 360. If we are busy with radians, let's have a quick look at that. And then we'll do some quick examples. Kevin, why is everything quick with you, my bro? Because I know you guys need to get your work done. You, you, you don't have time to waste. So let's keep hustling. Let's keep going. Okay, now if we are working in um, radians, then we don't have degrees, obviously. So this would be zero. Uh, this would be, um, when you go around there to that, that's pi. If you go all the way back, that's two pi. Okay, now, if you wanna know what this is, it's halfway between zero and pi. So that's gonna be pi over two. Halfway between pi and two pi is gonna be 1.5 pi, or that's the same as three over two pi. So let's say for example, we have an angle that is three over four pi. Then if you've watched my previous videos to work out where that would be, what I always like to do is I look at this number and then I'll break this top part up into four equal parts. So that's one, two, three. So then we have one, two, three, four equal parts. See that? And so what would happen is that this would be pi over four. This part would be two pi over four which is the same as pi over two, if you had to simplify. This would be three pi over four, and then this would be four pi over four, which is the same as pi, if you wanted to simplify. So three pi over four, where would that be? Well, that would be over there, okay? So, and then we would draw our terminal side. Okay, now if you wanted to create a coterminal angle, then you would have to go from here and go all the way around again. So how many pies is that? Well, did you know that to go all the way around, that's two pies. So if you wanna go, um, if you wanna start here and you wanna go all the way around, then you could add two pi, okay? You could also, um, so, so if we did add two pi, then your teacher might expect you to get a common denominator. So that's gonna be three pi over four, add eight pi over four, because that's the same as two, and that would be 11 pi over four. So we could say that a coterminal angle would be 11 pi over four, okay? We could also go backwards. We could also go from here and we could go two pi 
backwards. So we could say 3 pi over 4 take away 2 pi. And so if we use the whole common denominator like that, you would end up with negative 5 pi over 4. So that would be a different coterminal angle. Now, as with degrees, you could add even more 2 pi's. You could add 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, 10 pi, as long as it's a multiple of 2 pi. You could also subtract. So when we are looking at radians and we are looking at coterminal angles, then you could add or subtract any multiple of 2 pi. So n is any integer number, like 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, and you could go on and on and on. Okay, so pretty much what I'm trying to tell you is the following. If it's degrees, just add or minus 360. If it's radians, just add or minus 2 pi. So here's our first example. It's a degree. So it says find a positive coterminal. So I'm going to add 360 because if I subtract, that's going to give me a negative answer. So there's our positive coterminal angle. Determine a negative coterminal. Well, I'll just say 300, take away 360. And look at that. That's another coterminal. Here's um, a degree. So to find the positive one, I'll just add 360. And that gives me 480. You could add 360, you could add th 360 twice if you wanted to, if you're cool like that. That's fine. And then I'm just keeping it simple. Then here I'll subtract, and that's going to give me negative 240. Now here you've got to be careful. To find the positive one, that's easy. You could just add 360. You could even subtract 360 because that would still be positive. Now, if you, for the negative one, if you just minus 360, that's going to give you 140. That's not negative. So what do you do? Well, you just minus 360 again. Because remember, you can add or subtract as many 360s as you need to. And this is going to give us negative 220. Okay, here's our next one. So negative 20. If you want to find a positive, you can just add 360. And that's going to give us 340. If you want to find a negative, then you can just subtract 360 and that'll be negative 380. Here's radians. So to find a positive one, I'm just going to add 2 pi. Okay, now I need to get a common denominator. So that's going to become 9 pi over 4. Okay, there we go. And then to find a negative, I'm just going to subtract 2 pi. Okay, um, but I need to get a common denominator like that, and that'll be negative 7 pi over 4. So there's my negative, there's my positive. Pretty easy. So to find a positive coterminal angle, I'm just going to add 2 pi. And so I need to get a common denominator. So that would become 4 pi over 2, which, which is then 7 pi over 2. Now to find a negative coterminal, you could just subtract 2 pi. But you need a common denominator. And so that's going to give us negative pi over 2. Let's do one more example. I think you guys get the point. So here we have a negative coterminal angle. So to get a positive, we could add 2 pi. Common denominator, though, so it'll become negative 5 pi over 3. Um, add 6 pi over 3, because I needed to multiply this by 3 and this by 3. And so that's going to give us pi over 3. To do the negative one, we're just going to subtract 2 pi. And so that's going to give, um, if we get a common denominator, that's going to be negative 11 pi over 3.